So we got to write some lyrics to this song, okay. Tom. All right. Um, Did you have any ideas? Oh, GFE. GFE. <laughs> you better make me believe it. <laughs> I mean that with the utmost respect, saying that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. You know how big of a fan I was. Am I? What, okay, wait. Can we just let's talk about this for a second? Because yes. I mean, there was a big arc. Everyone wanted to talk about Michael Jackson. Yeah. Now it's I no didn't. one. No one wants to talk about I it didn't. anymore. I, it's been over a month, and I haven't. I haven't said anything. No one has quoted me in the papers or on blogs or anything. And you're like all showbiz. I exactly. But I haven't said anything until. Let me. Let me ask you. Yes. Did Shoot. you see? Did you see? I was about to say something mm-hmm. really. Look, it was okay. like a. Like I went like this. Oh my god! Like let me let me ask you. Mm. Like like it was gonna I was gonna speak French. Did you? Yeah. Say like, 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 okay. okay. So what okay. what happened to you when 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 you found out the news? Um. Working in news, um, as I do, um. I don't want to say I don't want to say the word privy, but we'd kind of got word like maybe twenty minutes before, it was out out out. You know, like really is that yeah? Because we have to get everything. Oh, breaking news. Um. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I don't know. Fifteen minutes before, so um, I went downstairs and I was really hungry, and I went to a Wendy's that's in our built of work. Okay. And, uh, there's a Wendy's fast food for you people watching in in Slovenia, um, and the people behind the counter were, were like, "It's oh, did you hear Michael's cardiac arrest?" And oh my god, da da. And one of the guys who actually worked, oh I didn't know, but he worked at my company. Was like, oh, he actually passed away he's he's dead it's official they haven't announced it yet and the workers were like oh really and, you know and I was in line um and I was like wow that's a scoop and then of course you know, I, you know it was breaking news like 20 minutes later and that's how I officially heard I had heard you know before I went downstairs that he had went into cardiac arrest the ambulances Neverland uh, Emmanuel Lewis Corey Feldman but I wasn't I didn't know he had officially passed away Okay, Until but my, my question is, you, how did you feel? Um, it was weird. I was, it, it was, I don't know. I didn't, because I was held him in very high regard. I mean, I know everyone always, you know, dissed him and wacko jacko and all that shit and bubbles and, but it, I always thought he was really awesome, personally. I mean, I really, really did. Because I was 10 when, I mean, I was, you know, growing up, my parents were so into music, you know, I was being, and it was, I got to hear those Jackson 5 records and when Off the Wall came out. And so I was 10 when Thriller was, was released. So when you're that young and you're so impressionable, and it's, you know, I remember people learning how to do the moonwalk and parachute pants and, you know, all that stuff. And it was a, it's like a big, big, it was, so, you know, some of my colleagues at work are like, you know, 20, and they're like, well, what's the big deal? You know, I shook his hand in 94. You know, really? Uh-huh. What, did you see the victory tour? During the Jackson's victory tour. Really? God, you did you hear him it? pull that right out? Of, like, did you hear that? No this you can't you can't step yes. to Tom with any kind of tour <laughs> trivia. Like, I didn't even need to say. Oh, I shook his hand in '84. Oh, really? You saw the victory tour? <laughs> what, why don't you tell us the set lists, Tom? <laughs> tell um, us the set lists. You know the set lists from the victory I tour. I do actually, but I'll, I'll look like a, a, a nut for okay. the set lists. All right. I mean, you already just showed yeah, that. Yeah, you know, I can't, like, Oh, you, oh, you I saw I the victory can't. tour. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where okay. you? Uh, what was it? Uh, Tampa Stadium? No, New York City. Oh, you were here? I, was, oh, I didn't, I didn't oh, actually see... Oh, that's see, right, that's right. That's I right. didn't actually see the victory tour. I went to the after party, which was at the limelight. And you shook his hand? And I shook his hand, and I also shook Diana Ross's hand that wow. night. Yeah. Because that's when they were like this. Yes, you know yes, that's mean? right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 84. Um, so I don't have a real answer for you, Barb. I think I actually haven't processed the information. Okay. You know? Because I really... When do you I'm think it's going to sh- hit you? Not, like when I you get know. to like Serbia? I, mean, I don't know. Do you think I you're going to fly touchdown in Serbia and you'll know. just start crying? I mean, it's just... How can I put this? Speaking of the Balkans and that area of the world, you think you're great and you got... You know, and we're all into music and we all perform and write and sing and all that shit. And you, you know, and, and many people are very talented. You want to see how great you're not? Watch the DVD Michael Jackson Live in Romania, and you realize how shit, I actually, shit hot I actually, you're not. I agree. I actually agree. You know what I mean? Speaking all, of Serbia, all kidding and, aside, you know, all, all kidding, kidding aside, aside. Speaking of the Balkans and Serbia and Romania, and it's it's and I've always loved that concert. I, I think it's from the '91. I think it's the Dangerous Tour, I believe. Um, and it's like, oh my God, to be able to to uh, spark that. That pandemonium of like eighty thousand people, people went and, crazy, it, and they don't even know the language. I mean, yeah. this, you know, it was all, I just 
very fascinating. So I don't know when it will hit me. I don't on somewhere on tour, or I'll be somewhere, or I'll you know, or I'll, um, but uh, it almost kind of feels like it, it hasn't happened. And I don't mean that in a weird, you know, romantic, sentimental, hocus pocus way or any of that shit. But he was Michael fucking Jackson. You know, he was like that's like the Beatles or Elvis Presley or something. Um, you know, I'm on the, I'm I mean, on it's, it was, I'm on the really same that, page. You know. I cried right away, by the way. Really? Right away. In the first, like, six minutes. I yeah. cried. Yeah. Like, hysterically cried. I was so shocked. Yeah. Where were you at? I was sitting on my couch, and I started seeing the news on Facebook. Uh -huh. And then I went over to Twitter, and I saw the news on Twitter. Uh -huh. And then I saw a couple people were like, oh, no, it's not true. He's not really dead. So I just thought, okay, I'm not going to... I can't, I, I'm not going to trust Facebook or Twitter on this. I'm going to go to CNN.com. Okay. So I went to CNN.com. It was, like, streaming live. And within two minutes, they had, like, said, yeah, he's dead. And so I sat there, and I was like, wow. I, that came out of left field. I didn't expect that at all, right? And I had all my windows open. And within a couple minutes. Oh, yeah. The car stereo orchestra yeah. on the streets oh, yeah. was so loud. Of Jackson, Michael Jackson music. Yeah. And I had my computer. It was so loud that I couldn't hear what was. I couldn't even hear CNN anymore yeah. because the, the car stereos oh, course, were so loud course. coming in my my yeah. uh, my windows. So I pressed mute on my computer, and then all of a sudden I looked up on CNN, and they had this slow motion shot of him going through the paparazzi through mm -hmm. a crowd with the sunglasses on, mm -hmm. slow motion, and I heard. I heard the orchestra of, of car stereos and I looked at the screen and I just burst into tears. Oh, I just started man. crying so I was I didn't expect it at all. I really started crying yeah. hard. I don't wow. know. I mean I looked at the screen and I just thought he was so misunderstood. Yeah. But he was like he symbolized this thing that was like I don't know. He tried to give people joy. He really did try to do that with his music, and he did. And he did, yeah. He achieved it. But on the flip side of it, he was so isolated and he was so misunderstood. And I think, I think really that's what ever those two basic things. I think that's what humans keyed into on him. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. those two simple concepts that like he was trying to send out joy, but he was really misunderstood and isolated. I think that's why people loved him so much. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'm reading into it too much. Uh, yeah, it still doesn't feel real to me, I think. Anyway, we're not going to obviously.